welcome members of consciousness. And this is how to make ChatGPT and GPT-4 pass AI detection, even if your text is 100% AI written. So GPT-4 just came out, it's awesome. And I've been using it more and more. In fact, in SEO, I think it's a must have now. It's no longer if you should use it, but more how should you use it and how much should you use it. So, and the reason for that is because Google's algorithm has been developed over the past 15 years or so, and they just haven't had time to catch up. So I'd say in the past year or two years, they're starting to implement things for AI, but there's still like 13 years of, of algorithm in there that just doesn't account for the type of quality and content that we could produce at an exponential rate. So now I personally believe this is the best time in the history of SEO to be doing SEO. So if you're an SEO agency, a profession, an SEO professional, maybe you have your own website and you just want to grow with SEO, now's the absolute best time. So let me share my personal ranking strategy. I've been using this for the past decade and I've used it to rank for some of the hardest terms in the world. It's actually really simple when you think about it. At the top, I have my target page. This will be my money site, my, 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 my money page. And I always have supporting content. So supporting content is going to be on the same website and it is related to whatever I want to rank. And I have internal links that take, go from my supporting content to my target page. Let me give you an example. If I'm trying to rank for best fishing polls, here I'm going to be have content on fishing. And this might be like uh, fishing gear. This could be like different types of fish. Uh, a content that is related to a fish, <laughs> best fishing polls goes over here and then internal links go here. Now, um, to support this content, we want to have links. So we're going to have, it could be any type of link. I have been using a lot of guest posts. Sometimes this will be a link based content. So it'll attract links naturally. It could be a press release. Uh, it could be outreach that you do. Any type of link you want goes to the supporting content and then it's funneled back to the target page. And that has been my tried and true tested um, personal ranking strategy for the past decade. And if you could even scale it, so you can, instead of just supporting content, uh, supporting content number three, you can have four, five, six, and so forth. And the more uh, difficulty you encounter, the harder the target page is to rank, the more you add and the more you scale this. And that, I, as you can imagine, I've been using AI recently for almost all of this. So my supporting content now takes a few seconds as opposed to before where I had to outsource and have few writers write a whole thing for, you know, take a long time. My guest posts as well, all AI written. So I'm, I'm scaling my operations. I'm getting a lot better results because I could just do it faster. I could do it better. And it's even, I'm even doing different types of content now. So uh, I can even use AI to create daily blog posts. Um, as I mentioned, just guest posts, support more supporting content. And with ChatGPT4, I'm even exploring press releases, product descriptions, copywriting sales, um, newsletters, updating old content about pages, terms of service. It's crazy the amount of things you could do. And now it is it takes minutes or seconds or minutes as opposed to before where it would just take hours and days and even weeks to do the same thing. So um, this is all great and all, but there is a slight problem or slight worry in the back of my mind is that OpenAI and Google have openly stated that out of the box AI content should not be trusted. Um, this was even in the OpenAI opening and introductory video for GPT-4. Like, by the way, uh, it's great, but uh, you, you need to revise and you shouldn't trust it out of the box. And Google said that AI is okay and as long as it's helpful. And at the same time, Google published a paper or has a research paper out that says that detected AI content is considered low quality. So Google's kind of sending mixed messages here and we never really know what they are trying to convey. Let me show you the research paper, make it up your own mind. But here, this is the research paper from, from Google um, is talking about how they're trying to understand the presence of low quality pages. They're trying to find low quality pages and they are using, uh, uh, Roberta based GPT detection to do so. And whenever they detect, they detect the AI content, they will likely classify it as a low quality page. So my understanding from this, my interpretation is that AI content could potentially get indexed, but it might be classified as low quality if it's detected and it might not rank as well. So that's my current interpretation. And because of that, um, I've been trying to pass AI detection as much as I can. I want it to bypass and pass this I don't want them to be able to detect it. I don't know, easy, easiest way to say it. And what's interesting with all this is that inside on page.ai, we're actually using the Roberta based detection, right? So this uh, is going to give us kind of uh, closest representation to what the research paper used. And it'll tell you, is this fake or is this real? So this text right here, to give you an example, says 99% real. That's like having a human write it. That's as good as, we, uh, as it gets. And that's what we want. 
So that's included inside on page.ai at no extra cost. You get AI detection, you just put in text and there you go. Now, a few months ago, we actually introduced the Stealth Writer. So the Stealth Writer is really cool and it produces high quality articles with one single input, uh, one keyword as an input and you, you have one click and it'll write a whole helpful content uh, article for you that passes AI detection. So this is it in action. And we introduced that a few months ago, We've been using it daily. You have tons of people creating thousands of articles. It's been awesome, right? It's really been good. Um, however, what if you wanna write a, an article using ChatGPT, or you wanna write anything with ChatGPT or GPT-4 as a source, or you wanna take other AI content and you want it to pass AI detection? Well, that's what we're introducing today, uh, how to bypass AI detection, uh, no matter what the source is. So let me show you what we're talking about. We're talking about the Stealth Rewriter, and right now it's available inside onpage.ai. We just introduced it today. You could go in and start using it. And it's very, very, very simple. Here on the left-hand side, you have the input box. This is your AI detected text, your input. And then you click Stealth Rewrite and it'll rewrite it and it'll make it pass detection while still preserving a high quality uh, article or content or text, whatever you want. So it's also, it's gonna rewrite it. It's gonna make it unique and it's gonna make it pass our AI detection. And it's also gonna be high quality. I know a lot of claims, let me show you it in action. So let's talk. Here, uh, chat GPT, uh, GPT-4, and I'll write uh, write a paragraph paragraph on the benefits of benefits of vitamin C. There you go. Cool. So I'm doing this live to show you out of the box. And as I write it, let me just talk about GPT-4 a bit. Um, it's actually better right out of the box at passing AI detection. It's, I'd say about 10 to 15 percent better than GPT-3. So when the content that it produces is, it sometimes it doesn't need as much modification to go and pass AI detection. So that's great for us. We just use GPT-4 more and more, and we're actually starting to implement it even more inside on page.ai. So we're, you know, everything from the writer to our, our scanning algorithm to everything is just getting better as you go. So let's take this piece of content right here. I'm gonna plug it in and let's go see what it gives. So we're gonna go detect AI and what's really cool is it changes every single time. So um, here we have our piece of content and we see it's 98% fake. So it's good content, but I wouldn't necessarily want to put this on my site. I don't know, it's just, that's just me. So now I click self rewrite and I go right here and it's going to go and understand this content. It's going to go say, it's, going to, it's not just going to put synonyms. That First of all, that doesn't work, but it's going to go understand the content and rewrites it. And now it passes AI detections. from So from 98% fake to 96% real. And now you have a unique piece of content that passes AI detection that you could use. And that is just, uh, I don't know, to me, that opens up a world of possibilities because now I could take source, I could take any sort of AI content, I could customize it, I could do whatever I want. And I am I know I'll be able to pass our AI detection if I put it in here. Now, this has been opening up a whole world of possibilities and I'm gonna show you all these cool things that have been doing with it, things that were, weren't even intended when we were developing it. And let me kind of let me show you some of the things. So I have my friend here. He created an AI site. This is completely 100% auto-generated. And it's great, except for the fact, obviously, that it doesn't pass AI detection. So let me take the entire article right around here. So I'm copy pasting the entire article. Let's go clear. I'll paste in his article here. And if I go detect AI, this should be AI detected because there you go. Yeah, because he completely just AI wrote it. So. Now we're gonna click Stealth Rewrite and it's going to rewrite the article, keeping the meaning, keeping the ideas the same and it's going to produce in, in a few moments. There you go. So from this is actually crazy. It's complete opposite from 99% fake to 99% real in a matter of seconds. And it is going to uh, keep the same structure, everything. So now you have yourself uh, an article. So um, what's, what's kind of, interesting is the way it rewrites it. If I look at the, the content and the way it rewrites it, it is know when to call in a professional, recognize when to enlist an expert. It is keeping the same meaning and it is rewriting it. And in some instances, instances, I actually prefer the rewritten version, right? So sometimes I, uh, it is actually, in my opinion, slightly better. Of course, you want to go through. Sometimes you might prefer the version on the left. Sometimes you might prefer the version on the right. It's not 100% perfect. Um, but in my testing, it's been very good. So this is the article. And now this is where it gets crazy, right? So now we have a, a completely uh, unique 
an uh, article that passes AI detection, which is great. But uh, one thing that I noticed, and this is an unintended consequence, and I this is not supported, this is not, you know, not intended, and there's no guarantee this will happen, but I've been putting it into Copyscape to check for, to see if it's unique or not. So this is the original. So this should find it. This is the original we just took from his website. And yes, it does find it, right? So one result, this found it on his website. This this is obviously the original. But now I go here and I, this, once again, not guaranteed. So we're going to see it. We're doing it live. Um, let's go premium search. And here we go. We got no results found. So now I paste it in this version, the new version, and it is not detected at all. So hopefully you can see how crazy and how powerful this is means that now I could have one article and I could just rewrite it and get a new unique version and then get a unique version and get a unique version, which means you could take any piece of content on the internet uh, that you own, obviously stuff that like, don't get me, don't get me wrong. This is not meant to take other people's stuff. This is if you get a, a writer to write yourself, write you a piece of content and you're like, oh, I want to use it on multiple sites. You don't want to necessarily have duplicate content on multiple sites. Or maybe, look, let's go back to my example. Let's say you got a writer to write you one post or you use the stealth writer to write one post. And now you have one post and you're like, oh, well, I want two and three because I want to post it on multiple sites because I want to do multiple guest posts. You could quickly <laughs> um, kind of plug it in here and it should. But just again, this is not guaranteed, unofficial, um, is not supported. Uh, but in my experience, it has been providing unique content. So I, let me just, you know, one of my friends was like, Hey, I, I keep on doing, um, stuff. I, I tell my writers to go out and kind of write stuff based on the number one result. So let's, let me put, I don't know, let's do uh, how we're talking about fish, how to catch a large fish and make sure this would be your website and your own stuff. I don't know. I'm just opening it. I'm on a, a fishing. Thing. Okay, cool. Let's put it right here. I'll do this. And then you could come in and I could rewrite it. And then this should be obviously found. And then this should be uh, unique. Now, uh, once again, this is not intended to take your competition. There, that was quick, actually. It's not intended to take your competition stuff. This is not at all the purpose. Um, but if you do own the rights to the, to the content, you do have your own stuff. In my experience, it has been creating unique content. I actually take this piece of content right here. This should be, let's try it again, just to see. This might be detected by the way. Sometimes it, it can be. So this should be found because I just took it from the web. And now let's take this and see if it's, this might, I, I don't know, we're doing it live. So there you go, no results found. This is crazy. So no results found. Um, yeah, that, I, that, that that's pretty cool. Um, so I've been using it for all kinds of things. So creating more copies of my, my content. So now not only does it pass AI detection, but of course it is also unique. And I've actually have a website where this is kind of the backstory. I got real writers and I, they charged me a lot of money, you know, cause I'm paying freelance writers and paying writers to write me content and just write content for me. But what happened is I detected that some of this content, by the way, all of this stuff is in draft. We're in the draft mode because I had to unpublish the content from the website because it was completely AI detected, right? So I had real writers that I paid out of, you know, a real writers that I paid. And if I go in here, actually I need to go, I don't want to take too long, take too long. But if, if I go here, I, I wonder if this is the part that's AI detected. I had some articles where I would put in, there you go, 99% fake. This is AI detected. And that's why I was like, oh, let me just put on draft. Now what I could do is if you're an SEO agency, you have, a client that has AI detected stuff, you come in and I kind of convert it back and it could take this and you could put up to 5,000 word, word article at a time. So it'll take a whole bunch of content and it could AI write, re -re rewrite it, screwing up my words here, into something that should be able to pass AI detection. Now, um, as I was doing this, I want to make sure I kind of put all the disclaimers out there. It's not perfect. Um, sometimes if it can't rewrite something, it will tell you and it will, will refund the credits. It won't, won't charge you and you just try again and it again. And it, it usually it'll eventually work. There you go. Um, and sometimes you want to kind of go through and make sure that it rewrote it in the way that you want it to be written. So, so far it's doing a really good job. So how often should I va should you vacuum? How often should carpeted floors be vacuumed? How cool is that? I hope you're understanding that this is not just a synonym and replacement. It is understanding 
what you you mean and how you're, you're approaching things. And I actually added more context. So carpeted floors wasn't even in here. So how often should you vacuum? This is like a real human going in and rewriting this stuff to make it original. So it is taking it to the next level. And of course, this should also be unique now when we pass it in copy scapes. I take this and this should be, once again, uh, kind of go in, no results found. This is, you know, in my, in my opinion, it's the game changer. I'll let you decide. I think it's really cool. It's available now inside on page.ai. And um, oh yeah, I didn't even show you the coolest part. Oh, not the coolest part. This is also a completely unintended, 100% not an unofficial consequence. Let me just show you. So, um, okay, let me go to Google. And I don't, I don't even know if I should be showing this. Okay, cool. So this is, I started taking things from different languages. So let me go bien fait. I speak French, by the way. Bien fait uh, de la vitamine uh, C. All right, cool. Let's do the same thing, right? So here, we take an article. I want something that, that's easy to copy paste or so. Accept A. Okay, cool. So I'm going to take this. And now I have Les Bienfaits de la Vitamine C, right? So this is a French article. Let me put it back in here. And now I'm going to do Stealth Rewrite. So we'll see. By the way, this might not work. Just putting it out there unsupported. But I've been testing a lot of this. And sometimes what it's doing is I'm actually able to take some French content. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> How crazy is that? And turn it into English content. So now I have my French article that was ranked, that was like ranking number one. And now I have my English article right around here. How crazy is that, right? So not only am I creating unique content, but I'm also turning it into English articles now. I let me go, let me do it in Spanish. Uh, I don't speak Spanish very well. So como hacer uh, lentils? Yeah, sure, let's do that. Let's, let's make lentils. And <laughs> I'm doing it live just so you see that this is like the fun that you could have with this. Uh, let's take this. Um, all right, cool. My my Spanish is is really rusty, but all right, cool. Let's take this, and I'll take this right here. Um, stealth rewrite. Let's go clear this. And I, I like to remove. By the way, when you're putting stuff in, I like to remove this part, like kind of like the just the weirdness. Keep you know keep the subheadlines is fine. Keep the stuff, but you know you don't don't need all the gibberish if you're gonna be pasting it. Let's do stealth rewrite. Let's go here. And by the way, this is not perfect. By the way, this is not supported. This is the only thing that this was designed to do. And the only thing that we're, we're, we're saying is if you input text on the left, the, it'll pass our AI detection on the right. All this other stuff, all this does, other things that I'm showing you is not, was never intended. So um, at your own, at your own risk, I guess, or at your own peril. And, but, oh my God, it's crazy. So look, I have the Spanish version here. And now I have the English version here of how to make lentils chop the chop the garlic and onion green peppers in small pieces heat some olive it's giving me <laughs> cooking instructions in english how cool is that anyways so um this is a self rewriter it's available now inside <laughs> on page.ai let me kind of go over the final details and um essentially oh yeah we didn't have time to go over the other features on page but i'm sure or maybe you, you do know or don't know but uh, it is a full page uh, ICO optimizer. And it's kind of like our, our main core thing, which is $3.99 a month. We have the Swipe AI content, the brief and outline tool, the content editor, the predictive guest post, predictive link building, the over optimization protection feature, the AI detection feature, the stealth rewriter. Um, and this was an example of 100, plan, uh, 100 articles. And now the new stealth rewriter. Um, and if you include everything, you kind of add it up, you're getting about $20,000 in value per month of, of, of content. And of course, that's not what we charge. Uh, our plans are much, 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 much more reasonable. In fact, you'll make your money back or I don't know, no guarantees here, but like um, this is the, what we've been using. And I think a lot of people will benefit highly from this. Um, you know, however you use it, however, you know, whatever you do, I don't wanna make any claims here, but these are the plans and you could get uh, currently um, better pricing, right? So when we introduce new features, we have discounted pricing. We have it from the Stealth Rider and we're continuing it with the Stealth Rewriter, where at the SEO standard, you get yourself uh, up to 30,000 words of Stealth Rewriting, and now the words are shared between the Stealth AI Writer and the Rewriter. So it uses the same credits. So you're getting, with 100,000 AI credits here, 
you'd actually get up, up, up to 30,000 words of rewriting. Most people have been taking the Create 100. It's our most popular plan because it gives you everything, all the features inside on page. And it also gives you uh, up to 100 stealth AI articles. Or if you want, you could kind of share that and maybe do not do 100, but then you could also use the stealth AI rewriter with up to 300,000 words. And if you run a big agency or an agency, the Publisher 500 or even the stealth uh, the ultimate 1,000 uh, 1, gives you up to 3,000 words of stealth rewriting. So you could kind of go in and start using it a day in, day out. You put in all your content in there and you get yourself some unique content that passes AI uh, detection. And uh, as I kind of shown, <laughs> it does a whole bunch of other things as well. Now, the sign up process is super easy. Um, if you already have an account, you could go in and you go into accounts. You could switch to any uh, account. Um, and you get your plans right here. And if you haven't signed up or if it's your first time, welcome. And you kind of go here to onpage.ai, that's our homepage. You click on sign up. Here, you're going to put in your email and you're going to get a uh, quick activation. Then when you log in, you're going to go here and you have a button that says activate your plan. So you get to see all our features, everything that's happening here. You click on activate your plan. You choose your plan. So we got the um, create 100. 100 and all that, and it starts at the SEO standard. So if you want to use a Stealth Rewriter, it's this SEO standard or above. The SEO light is only our optimization. So optimization, AI detection, and outline, this is the SEO light. So the one that you want is probably going to be the SEO standard or the SEO advanced if you're getting starting out. And if you ever need more credits, you could switch to another plan, no problem. In fact, a whole bunch of people are just starting off the AI Create 100. If you need less, you can just switch down, right? So there's there, there's absolutely uh, all the flexibility to you. And this is uh, the brand new insight on page.ai. So I recommend go try it out right now. This is the best time to kind of go and sign up for on page or just to upgrade your account to be able to use the Stealth Rewriter. And uh, of course, if you haven't seen on page before, this is kind of like our optimization tool where you enter in your keyword, your uh, URL to compare. It'll give you a report. Let me just, let me just show you really quickly. Uh, SEO rock stars. This is when, oh yeah, this is one, one of our uh, members or one of our, one of my friends actually, Dan ranked number one website in the latest SEO competition. He did it using on page at AI. And I like to brag about his success um, and it kind of gives you a report. So here you can see, how he had the highest relevance and how, you know, it gives you overall optimization protection. It tells you which words you want to add to the page, the highly related words, which is kind of like looking into the AI's brain to see the closest related entities. Um, you get the cohort analysis right here. You get uh, swipe content, you get the topical authority questions, which I think he just literally copy pasted onto the page. <laughs> you get the supporting content. You also get internal link recommendations. Um, so many things. And also the Stealth AI Writer, which I briefly mentioned, we actually have the Stealth AI Writer, which is, let me kind of give you, uh, I don't know, vitamin C benefits. There you go. Cool. So um, we have the Stealth AI. Oh, I was doing something here. Let me show you another one then. Uh, there you go. Cool. So we have the Stealth AI Writer where you enter in one keyword, you click create, and it'll create a whole brand new helpful article for you that passes AI detection. If I go detect here, here, it should pass AI detection. 99% real, and we just released version two. So uh, the version two is brand new. It is out. It produces even higher quality articles than before. It, it just, I don't know, version one was great. I've gotten only good feedback from version one, and now version two is taking it to the next level. Uh, I spent months kind of like refining this and just taking it, you know, just making it better. So uh, hope you guys are enjoyed this. Hope you got a lot of value. Hope you want to just dive in and if you have any questions, feel free to uh, contact my support. It's actually, I'll show you the email right now. If ever you want to, you know, kind of want to talk to us, we have the sidebar or you could go all the way to the bottom and you have team at onpage.ai. Uh, that, that, that is our email. You can contact us and, uh, otherwise the sign up process or just start using it is really easy. And if ever you have feedback and you're in the application, you can use a little feedback thing on the right hand side here. We're happy to talk to you any way you want to talk to us. So. Um, hope you guys enjoy this. As far as I know, this is a, a first. I don't think there's any other place that they have this type of thing. So uh, I'm excited to hear how you use it. And if you discover any other use cases, because I originally didn't even think that this would be possible to do all the things that we're doing with it. So um, let me know. As always, my name is Eric Lanches, and I'll talk to you soon.